Okay, this is the fuse panel. This is something you really shouldn't be getting into unless you know what's going on, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, if something does go wrong, if, if you know how to change a fuse out, then that's okay. But if there's something majorly wrong, get a hold of Captain Lovegren or me, and we'll come out and take a look at it and see what's going on. Uh, the fan here is what cools this, keeps it cool. And there's some components in here that need to be kept cool, so try not to throw gear on here. Try not to block this fan. This fan is very important for this to keep everything cool. So try and do that. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, here we have a little door that leads into the engine. What it does, it, it uh, gets you into the engine oil and transmission oil. So this one is your engine. I think the next one over is going to be transmission. This is your transmission, and this is where you fill the engine oil in. So this is fill. That's where you have to fill the engine oil. Make sure you get that on there. Snug that up. Don't have to be too tight. This is the transmission dipstick right there. Same as on 725, same thing. Pull it out, wipe it off. Put it back in, check it, make sure the engine's running, neutral, and operating temperature. And ditto for the uh, oil dipstick. Engine off, uh, let it uh, sit for about 5-10 minutes, then check the oil. If you just pulled it out of the bay, then let it sit a little bit, because oil is going to stay up in, in the head and it needs time to drip down. So give it 5-10 minutes, then check it. That way you don't overfill it.